Hey guys, it's uh, Justin here from Pecan Lodge, and uh, like the rest of you, I've been uh, at home for the last month or so. I've uh, been able to spend a lot more time outside in the in the yard doing some gardening. Uh, it is springtime. Uh, I've been noticing a lot of bees, and that has me thinking, what could we do with honey? Uh, so I've got a simple recipe here that you could do with the uh, ingredients you probably already have at home. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So we have all the ingredients for our cilantro lime vinaigrette here. Um, you'll see it's relatively straightforward. Um, we're using a local honey here. It's got uh, notes of alfalfa and clover, really grassy, which will go nice with the, uh, with the vinaigrette. And uh, here we go, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna start with uh, just adding a little salt, maybe about a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of red pepper, uh, garlic clove, uh, you're gonna to want to do about two tablespoons of lime juice. If you don't have lime juice, you can also use apple cider vinegar or uh, really any kind of vinegar that you have in the house. So we've got <clears throat> the salt, the pepper, garlic, lime juice. We're gonna put about one bunch of cilantro in here, stems and all. And then we're gonna take our honey and you can kind of do this to taste, but we're gonna do maybe about a tablespoon, just a little bit more. And uh, that should be good. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is put the lid on this and give it a blend. Okay, that's pretty much it. We added about a half a cup of olive oil there at the end, uh, just drizzling that in as we blend it until everything blended together. And uh, you can just taste it at this point and kind of see, yeah, that's perfect. We're gonna be doing some pork tenderloin, which uh, I dry brined earlier, which is really pretty straightforward. You basically just want to heavily salt the outside of the meat, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit for somewhere between four or five hours and overnight. Rinse that off. When you're ready, season it with your rub, whatever that is. It could be more salt and pepper. We did chili powder, cumin, uh, black pepper, pretty straightforward. And uh, now we're just going to put the lid on, keep all the bittens closed, and let it cook. So let's take the lid off and see how it looks. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our pork tenderloin here. Uh, I'll be using my thermometer just to check the inside because that's really the only way you know. Um, one, let's see here, 156, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna set that over there on the side and uh, we'll check this in the thickest part and uh, yeah, 151, it's a little on the low side, um, but check a couple different spots for 160 there. So this, more than likely this is gonna even out. So we're gonna set these to the side, um, a little bit of carryover cooking on those, but they are on the grill still, so they're still gonna cook. And then uh, basically, <clears throat> I had some extra vegetables inside. I had tomatoes and onions, that's it. Olive oil, salt. There is like literally half a jalapeno, so I'm gonna put these on the grill. 
and while these grill, the pork tenderloins will finish cooking up and then we're just gonna be about ready. Okay guys, here we are. We've got the pork tenderloin is off the grill. It took maybe like 25 minutes to cook at the very most. Um, <clears throat> and I've got more or less black beans and rice. If I'm gonna be honest, that's left over from taco night last night, but that's what's great about this is that you can throw a couple of pork tenderloins on, you can make that cilantro lime vinaigrette, and you can use that all week long. And it'll take something that in general could have been considered leftovers and turn it into something that is actually a pretty tasty treat. Um, <clears throat> so literally this entire meal minus the uh, cilantro lime vinaigrette is, and the tenderloin is stuff that, uh, that we just kind of made do with what we had at home. Got some chives here. I had those growing in the backyard. Chop those up. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then I've got our grilled vegetables, which basically consisted of tomatoes and onions that I had, half a jalapeno. Also have a little bit of pico de gallo that uh, was left over from taco night that I'm just gonna basically just add kind of to the top of that right there. And then we've got the cilantro lime vinaigrette, which can go on just about anything, but we're just gonna drizzle that over the veggies a little bit. And uh, I mean, if you really want to, it doesn't hurt. You can just get right over the top of the pork tenderloin. And that's it. Oh, just a little bit of cheese. And that, folks, is uh, cilantro lime vinaigrette dressing up pork tenderloin. Hope you enjoy.